Hi, I'm Jim Lee from ClimateViewer.com and TerraformingInc.com, and I'm here to expose the world of climate engineering, weather modification, and geoengineering. I started with the Google Earth project where I started to track cloud seeding experiments and projects. Um, I quickly realized that there are way too many for me to devote that much time to, so I started doing the, the history of weather modification and weather control. And what I did was I created a timeline. If you'll come to terraforminginc.com slash weather control, you can load up this timeline. Um, click the little buttons on the side to flip through the images. Um, each image has a link underneath it where you can uh, go read more about the subject. And as you flip through these, what you're going to see is a story of man's domination of nature, um, starting with a whole lot of people wanting to melt the North Pole, the age of pluviculture and rainmaking, the early days, going all the way into space mirrors to focus sunlight and melt the poles, the Dust Bowl, Nuke the Arctic, Cloud Seeding Invented, Project Cirrus. Oh yeah, it just gets crazier and crazier the further you go. We nuked the skies, Operation Hardtack, Operation Argus created new radiation belts. They were never there before. Sound like nuking the Arctic to me? Um, yeah, and it just gets crazier as you go along. Uh, we got Agent Orange, we got Project Skywater. Uh, National Cumulus Modification Project, uh, the Weather Re uh, Modification Reporting Act, where you can actually see the the document that uh, you go to the NOAA website and you fill out if you do go to modify the weather. Um, the list goes on. I'm going to hit a couple of the really cool ones. Um, AMEG is saying that 50 gigatons of methane could be released at any moment. It's the Arctic Methane Emergency Group, and they're calling for worldwide geoengineering immediately. Uh, good times. HARP has created a plasma fireball in the sky for over an hour. Pretty awesome. Ionospheric space weather modification. Uh, world's first rogue geoengineer did some iron fertilization out in uh, the ocean and it was caught on camera <laughs> gotta love that DARPA Project Nimbus laser guided lightning weapon uh, they, they're literally using lasers to direct lightning and blow stuff up um, it doesn't take much of a gamble to say that they're probably going to use the YAL uh, airborne laser you fire it through a thunderstorm and you can pretty much direct your lightning bolts Lucy in the sky with diamonds uh, using radars uh, to Turn noctilucent methane clouds into diamond dust to reflect sunlight. Crazy, crazy stuff. Using radars to change gas clouds into diamonds. Sound like a 007 to me. Um, to reflect sunlight, it's called uh, geoengineering SRM or solar radiation management. It's for to prevent global warming. The scientists are just crazy nowadays. Um, Aqueous and Cyblue Inc. Cyblue Inc. is an U.S. Air Force company. Uh, Aqueous is a private uh, group. They are using the proprietary weather modification system operates by utilizing resonance signals to divert oceanic uh, atmospheric rivers into areas experiencing severe drought. I would encourage you to read uh, Mr. Kaczynski's The Blue Gold Rush Using the Rivers of the Troposphere. Um, good crazy stuff using radars to move entire columns of water um this stuff is out there everything in here is 100 percent legit click the bottom you can click over to read where all this stuff came from read more about it um but right now people like ken caldera pictured here and david keith are using bill gates money it's called pfizer um f-i-c-e-r and they're they're trying to get this geoengineering SRM um, passed by the governments. They've already uh, testified at Congress. Um, if if people don't get involved and realize how serious this is, that they really want to um, modify the weather on a global scale, and as the WMO said, 
Um, anything that ha uh, claims to achieve such large scale or dramatic effects do not have a sound scientific basis and should be treated with suspicion. Um, you can't get any more large scale than geoengineering SRM. Uh, this is them testifying at Congress trying to get it passed. Um, but the most important thing you need to know is this. The Asilomar Conference, uh, it was said best in a Jeff Goodall um, article. In other words, if the public comes to see geoengineering as, as one attendee put it, a crazy idea cooked up by, cooked up by rich Anglo-Saxons to dominate the client, then they will all be rightfully tarred and feathered. I think a tarring and feathering <laughs> is in order. Um these guys are out there and what they're talking about doing with their little boats and <laughs> you know they're uh spraying uh urea uh the military sprays pee pee <laughs> to disperse fog around the airports urea people fertilizer um it just gets crazier every year and from what i've read uh, i put it into this timeline this took two years of research I will continue to update it over the near future, but please, uh, everybody, you can get involved in this topic. It affects us all. Uh, the weather's over your head. Um, the water, you know, is is running out. The blue gold rush is on, and uh, we really need to get involved, people. Um, they're already testing the EP's Eastern Pacific Admitted Aerosol Cloud Experiment, Geoengineering SRM Experiment to test cloud brightening for the silver lining project boats. It's John Latham Silver, um, Stephen Salter. Uh, these guys are at it, and they're going to make it happen if you don't stop them. So be involved. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.